Hey guys, this video we're going to talk about how to sew your long line. I have, it's about a 20 foot, one inch tubular nylon uh, long line. This is one that I made. So a friend of mine had some extra nylon lying around. I cut off about 20 feet. I didn't really measure it. 20 feet is good enough for me. 30 is just a lot of line to work with. There's no loop at the end of this. So when we're tracking or we're going out in the field, I don't have this loop like this that's getting caught on everything as we're running through the field. I'm not having to pull my dog off the track accidentally or redirect my dog accidentally when we're doing an open area search because I have a loop. So that's why I have a straight long line. So this is a really simple way to store your long line. This, is, this also works for the synthetic leashes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find somewhere to clip my buckle end on. And let's find a place. <laughs> Rich is going to be my buckle end. We're going to walk to the end of the line. Typically you would put a little bit of tension in this, but you don't necessarily need tension. We'll start here. So I'm going to do about a foot wide. Thumb, finger, thumb, finger, pinch. And I'm just going to wrap it around my thumb. Keep it straight. We don't want it criss, see how it's laying flat? We don't want it crisscrossing when, it, when it's laying straight. Super easy. So I'm going over my thumb, over my thumb, over the thumb. I can use my fingers to manipulate the long line if I need to, and to place over the thumb. If the, back of the long line falls out like that, that's fine, not worried about it. Over the thumb, manipulate, manipulate your line so it's lying flat over the thumb. Continuing, continuing, and then we're gonna have about maybe two feet at the end. So I can let go of that at this point. I'm gonna take this extra, it's kind of a bit, a lot to wrap around, but that's okay. Wrap around, around, Round again, through the loop. And then I hang my long line anywhere I want. Typically it's just hanging up in my truck on the kennel. The reason I wrap my long line like this, when I deploy my long line, super easy. You might wanna stand like right here and watch me throw it. I'm gonna throw this out the door. The way that we have this wrapped, wrapped right now will allow me to throw my long line. So instead of rolling it, when you roll your long line up and you throw it out, it has all these twists in it and then it gets knotted up. But if you wrap it this way, when you throw your long line, it goes straight out without any major twists or knots or ties, ties up or anything like that. So we'll do one more of wrapping it out. So I'm going to go all the way to the end of the leash. I'm pulling it flat. I'm working it flat through my hand. I'm working all those twists out of it to the end of the leash. Again, coming in and come a little closer. You come closer. Mm -hmm. Around the thumb, around the thumb, all the way down, making sure it's flat. After you do this a couple of times and practice with it, this will become second nature and you can just really quickly, if you let go of it, it's fine, really quickly get it wrapped up. Wrapped up. Then take your extra around, around, through your loop. Boom. That's it. How to start your long line.